All right, what a day we've had. Hurricane Linda, well south of the forecast area, has still been gripping a hold of the Southern California zone. Our forecast area has seen showers, thunderstorms, large hail, damaging winds, flooding, what have you. It's been everywhere across the metro Southern California areas of the Inland Empire zones and into the mountain and desert regions, even sliding into all of the Orange County zones this evening and this will start the weekend overnight here's some of the slides that we had this shows the storm systems coming through the area it is going through the inland empire eventually into orange county and then weakening as it moves out to sea uh this evening we got an explosive amount of thunderstorms across the riverside san diego san bernardino los angeles kern ventura county mountain areas and those have even brought some fires to the tehachapi areas and even on the eastern side of the Big Bear Lake area along Highway 38. This is the hail detection and this shows uh, basically it's a product here that shows the size of the hail we see in the storms. You can see all those blues and the light blues and purples and then that's basically some smaller hail in the purple areas, some good size hail in the blue, light blue that's when you're getting on to some quarter size hail out there maybe even larger as we did have some severe thunderstorm warnings in the area. Now, I did issue a severe thunderstorm watch on the site for the Inland Empire and that's exactly what went through uh, that was issued this morning and we had it through the afternoon and evening hours so that did verify as for what we're looking at for the rest of the evening into the tonight it looks like we're going to be having the sun uh, go down and then all of a sudden the storms are just going to poof away uh, maybe we'll have some storms out in the deserts but other than that it looks like most of the storm systems uh, will go away overnight tonight now tomorrow is going to be similar to today but it's going to be in between yesterday and today. So it's not going to be stronger than today, uh, but it's not going to be weaker than yesterday as well. We'll have some storms popping up in the Los Angeles, San Bernardino County Mountains again, and into the Riverside and San Diego Mountains into the Inland Empire. Now, it won't be as much as what we saw today, but we may get some higher alerts on the site tomorrow morning for those areas. Now, Hurricane Linda, yeah, this is what's been happening as the storm system's been bringing in uh, a lot of moisture northward and that's what's causing all these storms uh, that we've seen and this is going to be trekking still slowly to the north northwest more northwest in fact right now still along the track and what's going to happen is she's going to detach from the surface low which is causing all the hurricane winds at the surface and that's going to go to the west now the mid-level flow is going to be going to the north and that's going to carry the upper level low of the system joining in with another trough out of the western california area down into our area sometime either the end of the week or into the weekend so yes this is going to be watched for enhancement of widespread shower and thunderstorm activity and those chances will be valid through most of the weekend still kind of etchy on what we're going to have the system is going to split her low level center is going to go to the west Upper level is going to come to the north towards our forecast area, joining that trough. So a lot of speculation, but we still have a lot of time to figure out what's going to be happening. The most important thing is the forecast has been correct so far that Linda is going to be impacting the Southern California area. And impact she will through Thursday. Stay tuned to SouthernCaliforniaWeatherForce.com.